the Airbus. A321 XSLR is the latest narrow-body aircraft from Airbus, which is predicted to change the commercial aviation industry forever. With Boeing facing its own set of issues, the emergence of the A321 XLR feels like a death sentence for Boeing, further solidifying Airbus's position as a leading aircraft manufacturer. Many in the industry call it the Boeing killer. Why? And what is the real reason Airbus launched this special aircraft? Let's find out in today's episode. The Airbus A321 XLR, launched in 2019, received strong acclaim. This strong reception is demonstrated by the large number of orders it received shortly after its debut. In a short period, this aircraft garnered over 500 orders from more than 25 airlines worldwide. This indicates that airlines highly value the capabilities and potential of the A321 XLR in expanding routes and improving operational efficiency. This enthusiastic reception not only reflects the airline's confidence in Airbus's new product, but also shows the high expectations for the positive changes that the A321 XLR can bring to the aviation industry. Before delving into why the plane is called the Boeing Killer, let's first explore why Airbus decided to launch the A321 XLR when they already had the A321LR. As we know, before the introduction of the A321 XLR, Airbus already had the A321LR. The A321LR is the long-range version of the A321NEO, capable of flying up to 4,000 nautical miles. However, this was seen as a modest improvement over the standard A321. Perhaps Airbus felt that this wasn't a significant enough advancement compared to its competitor, the Boeing 757, and they needed something a bit more substantial. Not only Airbus, the airlines, aim to narrow the gap in transport capabilities between single-aisle and wide-body aircraft without sacrificing too much in terms of operational range. In the modern aviation industry, wide-body aircraft like the Boeing 777 and Airbus A350 are typically used for longer international routes, whereas single-aisle aircraft such as the Airbus A320 and Boeing 737 are more commonly used for short to medium-haul flights. In response, Airbus upgraded the Airbus A321 LR by adding ACL large fuel tank, which increased its operational range by 15%. With an impressive range of 4,700 nautical miles, this upgraded aircraft is named the A321 XLR. Indeed, its launch garnered high expectations. That's why the A321 XLR is so eagerly awaited. But that's not all. The following features of the new A321 XLR illustrate why it's so impressive. Let's see what features the A321 XLR has. Firstly, the A321 XLR has a range of 4,700 nautical miles, which is further compared to its siblings from the previous generation, the A321 LR with 4,000 nautical miles. The A321 XLR is the latest narrow-body passenger aircraft from Airbus, boasting the longest range in the world, and its design has truly revolutionized the aviation industry. In addition, it has the capability to fly continuously for up to 11 hours. Moreover, an additional fuel tank is equipped it to enhance operational range compared to its predecessor, the A321LR. The additional range of the A321XLR certainly brings many options that the airline industry hasn't truly had before. For some airlines, it can open up routes that were previously not economically feasible and eliminate inconvenient stopovers. Airlines can now access secondary routes without needing to go through their hubs, thanks to the efficiency of the A321XLR in serving point-to-point -point routes. Next, the A321 XLR offers high flexibility. It has the potential to open up new routes and connect cities. With the upgrade, the A321 XLR can serve short, medium, and long-haul routes, catering to the diverse needs of airlines. Furthermore, the A321 XLR offers improved fuel efficiency along with convenience and cost savings. Technological advancements in engine technology and optimized design contribute to the A321 XLR's fuel efficiency compared to previous versions, reducing operating costs for airlines. Coupled with its large number of orders and market suitability, the A321 XLR promises significant economic benefits for both airlines and passengers. It's reported to consume fuel slower by over 30% compared to the Boeing 757. It can be said that the A321 XLR has redefined long-haul travel for narrow-body aircraft. The outstanding new features alone are not enough to make the A321 XLR the Boeing killer. It also depends on several other reasons. Let's move on to why the A321 XLR is called the Boeing killer. But before we proceed, if you find this content helpful, please like, share the video, and leave a comment below. Firstly, let's analyze Airbus's strategy. 
The company knows how to seize opportunities to attract new customers with the A321 XLR, meeting all needs while airlines eagerly await Boeing's uncertain and dramatic debut. In such scenarios where wide-body aircraft may not be suitable in some cases, the A321 XLR opens up larger connectivity opportunities worldwide. It suits airlines that already operate wide-body aircraft and need innovation to enhance and diversify their fleet. The biggest reason surely lies with Boeing. In this competition, Airbus had the playing field largely to itself, where there should have been substantial competition from Boeing. The reason, as well as Boeing's initial mistake, was not introducing a new aircraft to replace or continue upgrading the Boeing 757. Because the 757 was built exceptionally well from the start, when the A321 came along, the 757 seemed overshadowed. Many industry experts argue that with just a few tweaks, the Boeing 757 could have surpassed the A321, but Boeing chose to focus its efforts on the Boeing 737 MAX instead. The second mistake, 737 MAX has caused many debates and consequences. Two fatal accidents occurred involving the Boeing 737 MAX within a short period. Lion Air, Flight 610, and Ethiopian Airlines, Flight 302, both experienced accidents due to issues with the Maneuvering Characteristics Augmentation System, MCAS, of the aircraft. These two accidents resulted in a total of over 300 fatalities. After the accidents, civil aviation authorities worldwide issued temporary bans on the Boeing 737 MAX to investigate and reassess the safety of this aircraft type. This led to significant losses in revenue and reputation for Boeing. The incidents related to the Boeing 737 MAX have damaged Boeing's reputation and led to the loss of trust among customers, airlines, and passengers. In addition, due to the incident involving the MAX 9 of Alaska Airlines on January 5th, Boeing has faced negative consequences. Many airlines decided to support and wait for Boeing, while others began exploring alternatives for a future without the 737 MAX. Meanwhile, Boeing abandoned the deployment of the 797, a potential aircraft that could have potentially dominated the A321 XLR in the market. The 797 features seating for 228 to 275 passengers, depending on the seating configuration, compared to the A321 XLR's 206 to 244 seats, a wingspan over 6% wider than the A321 XLR, a range of 5,000 nautical miles versus the A321 XLR 4,700 nautical miles and superior flying speed at Mach 0.85 compared to the A321 XLR's 0.78. Instead, Boeing focused on the 737 MAX. Was this decision a mistake up to the present time? While the A321 XLR has enjoyed spectacular success, Boeing has not had any competing aircraft in this market segment since the A321 XLR was introduced. Many reasons lead people to say that the A321 XLR is not the Boeing killer. Boeing has killed itself. What is your opinion? Tell me your thoughts by commenting below. Although the A321 XLR launched at an opportune moment, it still faces many challenges which could significantly alleviate Boeing's concerns about this aircraft. First, the narrow-body aircraft market is still expanding. Flights over 3,000 miles currently only account for 0.2 to 0.3% of the narrow-body aircraft market, so the A321 XLR is not a goldmine. Long-term projections for the market direction remain uncertain. Therefore, perhaps Boeing's decision may not be foolish. Secondly, the addition of an additional fuel tank while enhancing the A321 XLR capabilities for long-haul flights has also slowed down the certification process due to concerns about the risk of explosion. The main reason A321 XLR has been criticized until now is that narrow-body aircraft are not suitable for long-haul flights due to reduced comfort. To tackle these issues, Airbus has introduced new systems aimed at addressing these concerns. These systems enhance ventilation, regulate temperature, and improve sound quality. Furthermore, additional overhead luggage space has been incorporated to alleviate comfort concerns. Given the challenges mentioned above and Airbus's methods to address the narrow body, A321 XLR discomfort during long haul travel, as a passenger, would you accept this? The A321 XLR plays a significant role in promoting development and innovation in the aviation industry offering customers more options and expanding the operational scope of airlines globally. The A321 XLR can be used to replace or supplement wide-body aircraft on long-haul routes with medium to high-demand expanding options for airlines. 
for the outstanding features of the A321 XLR and Airbus's intelligent strategy in promptly addressing its weaknesses, perhaps Boeing should soon devise a long-term and sensible policy for its development path. As for you, what do you think about the future of the two largest aircraft manufacturers in the world? Leave your comments below for us to discuss together.